Hello, my name is David Smith. I'm the CTO of Quack and the uh, chief architect for the Croquet project. What you're looking at is uh, the early prototype for Croquet called ICE. ICE stands for Interactive Collaboration Environment. It was developed at Veris Corporation uh, and the idea was to demonstrate a replicated uh, computation, a replicated collaboration space. Uh, and uh, this particular version uh, actually allows you to deal with real components. The earlier version was a pure prototype. This one actually started moving in the direction of actually uh, allowing dynamic code to be dropped into the scene and interacted with. So what I'm going to show you uh, are a number of objects inside this scene and then I'm going to show you some really interesting things that can occur once you get into component land. So let's start with uh, a simple kind of object. What I'm going to do is drop in a uh, simple uh, calendar app. And uh, to do that, I simply grab hold of uh, a little component here. And you can see that. I'm just dropping it into the scene. It generates a, a 3D window. Uh, in this case, uh, what we see is uh, it's March 17th. And we can actually flip through the days, March 18th, etc. Uh, very simple. Uh, it's, and in fact, it's a true application or micro application running inside the space. Uh, next thing I'll do is, uh, is drop, uh, say, a notepad in here. And the notepad works just as, again, as you'd expect. Of course, here you can take notes. So I'll just click in there. And then I can type, uh, this is a uh, notepad, and some random things. And then I can actually um, select text, as you'd expect, uh, just like any other notepad could. Uh, Note that uh, Croquet, and in particular Quack Forums, can now do this uh, again. And of course, the nice thing about Quack Forums is it's a truly, perfectly replicated space where this was uh, a non-deterministic environment, and uh, coding for this, developing applications for this, was a real, a real problem. Uh, one of the cool things that occurs once you have a, uh, once, once things are components. I'll show you this, is I can, uh, since ICE itself is a component, I can literally drop uh, the ICE module into the space. And what you see is, it's in fact, another ICE object. And in fact, I can wander around inside of here, just uh, like I could with a bigger window. In fact, I can drop objects into this into this scene, into this space. Uh, for example, I'll take that uh, calendar again and drop it in. As an example. And there it is. And in fact, it works, uh, just like the other one did, so I can flip to its pages, like so. And I can drag it around inside that other space, as you'd expect. Uh, but it itself is yet another 3D little space. Um, and I can even drop a 3D object. If you saw the earlier video, uh, you saw a little chess set. I'll just drop it recursively into this space. And there it is. And let's uh, spin it down so we can actually um, see it. There we go. And there's our little 3D chess set. Um, now, it can get even weirder. Uh, obviously, I could, if I can do that, I could probably generate a new kind of object. So what I'm going to do is drop in a thing called the cube that was sort of a product based upon these ideas. We never actually shipped it, but it was a very cool thing. And uh, the cube is uh, another kind of window. Uh, in this case, it has an actual 3D cube on it. And each of these spaces 
could actually have a separate application itself. So for example, I could grab the notepad and draw it onto the cube. And then uh, again, this is editable, so I can type uh, random things like so. Uh, and um, of course, uh, that begs the question if I can drop a, a little um, uh, normal app, I should be able to drop uh, something as insane as ice onto there. And in fact, yes, I can. So ice now as a uh, uh, on a 3D cube uh, running. And in fact, I can do it. I can actually make it even more ridiculously recursive because I can um, drop a um, uh, I can drop a cube into here and uh, continue the process. So I should be able to walk around inside here. And for whatever reason, I'm not able to right now. But uh, it may just be some kind of state thing. But it's actually there. In fact. Uh, just for fun, let's grab hold of that calendar object again and drop it onto that cube. And what should happen is it ought to recurse into the object. And you see the little calendar object inside the 3D space on the cube in the window uh, inside of ICE. ICE was cool. Uh, really a very powerful paradigm very extraordinarily composable and in fact uh, at Quack we're just beginning to recreate a lot of this kind of functionality so I'm really pretty excited about that. It's about time. Um, but I, I really think this stuff is truly magical and really kind of changes your perception of what computers can do, what it's all about. Uh, so there's uh, the second ICE video. This would be uh, the fourth in a series. Um, the, the last video that you should have seen or might have seen was an earlier version of ICE that had some other interesting properties. Um, but uh, uh, this you can clearly see where uh, croquet came from and uh, in some ways perhaps where it's going. Thank you very much.